so this isn't a proper review or comparison video, but rather this is a comparison between my counterfeit Lemon Drop EOS and my legitimate Lemon Drop EOS. So anyway, just wanted to get into it because hopefully I can spare somebody else from going through this given that I got this at a reputable dealer, believe it or not. I bought it from Walmart, so I was not expecting to get a counterfeit there of all places, but it is what it is. Some of the points are going to be hard to see on camera because, like, in person, this is a darker yellow than this. But on the camera, or at least through my viewfinder of my iPod, they look virtually identical, but... I can guarantee you that it is at least one or two shades darker towards a more orangey yellow than the more sunshiny yellow over here. But hopefully it shows up because I don't know what else I can do to really demonstrate that for you. But anyway, let us get into it. So I marked the bottom of this one so I will not mix up which one's which by accident. But um... Some things worth noting with these. Let's see here. The lines for the center line up height-wise, but on the counterfeit, it's a little bit uneven around, whereas this one is perfectly even, evenly spaced all the way around, whereas this one, not so much, and it's thinner. So there's that. I also noticed with the logos in the top, this may be purely coincidental. Um, is there an angle that shows it better? Not really. Maybe kind of at that angle. You can tell that the imprint is a little shallower on this one than it is on this one. And comparing with other EOS products, this is more standard than this guy here. I guess I don't think it really does it justice on camera, especially with artificial lighting, but I'm doing my best here, even though they kind of look the same side by side here on the camera. But in person, you can tell a difference. Um, I also noticed a very slight size difference with them. It seems as though... This one is just the tiniest bit taller than that one. Let's actually do it this way. No, that's not a good angle. Let's see. I hold my camera down like this. So you've got an even shot. You can tell that the one on the left actually is a little bit higher there so it's like i said it's hard to show at, a, at this angle because it is a little bit of a weird angle for trying to compare this stuff down to precision level but i'm doing my best i also noticed color wise of the wax in the counterfeit it's a very bleached white color which i mean is not a hundred percent off base for an EOS product. I've had other ones be that color that were legit. But here's the actual legitimate one. Now that you can definitely see on camera. There is very much a difference here. Also, the wax is wider, like sideways around, than this guy, which I find quite interesting. I'm looking at the caps. Are there any differences in the caps? No, they're pretty much. Identical. Okay. Also on this one, this is more of just a recent thing, but there is the expiration date imprint along the bottom edge here, although it's so fine. Oh, you can see it. Perfect. Now, on this guy there is nothing, but that's more likely just because this is from over a year ago, and this seems to be a fairly newish thing they've rolled out with these. Scent-wise is where this was my biggest tip-off that something was wrong with this. Well, there's somewhat of a tiny amount of a citrus scent in there. It, it smells more like black pepper to me, although I handed it around to other people and they said they smelled different things, but none of them smelled a proper lemon scent. Now, with a legitimate one... 
This is a much stronger lemon scent. And it doesn't really have much of anything else mixed with it. When I did my re-review on this for being able to do the legitimate one, um, I felt like I picked up on a little bit of a baby powderish scent underneath, but I, it may have just been my nose that day because I don't smell it now. I just smell pure lemon right now. So there is that. <laughs> and I think the other biggest difference between these two is that after just a couple of applications with the counterfeit, my lips got very blistery, almost like the news reports of the people who are having allergic reactions to EOS, but I have never had a problem with EOS, and I never even had one with this guy here. So that was a big tip-off that something just was very wrong with this particular one. Because I've never had it happen with another one, just that guy, so... Something's obviously very off here, and just everything about it, I mean, the sticker on the bottom, let's see. The print, or the font, is the tiniest bit bolder on the counterfeit than it is on the, oh wait, do I have it backwards? Yes, I do, I'm sorry, it's a little bit finer on the counterfeit and a little bit bolder on the legit one. Sorry, I looked at these right before I started filming and I mixed up which and switch. It's late, sorry. But you can tell that on camera that that's why this one looks a little bit blurry because it's not quite as thick of print. Ah, uh, is there any other real differences? I think that is about it. Obviously, it's so similar that I don't think you could honestly really know what to look out for if you just saw this in a store, carded and everything. I mean, it just looks like a regular Lemon Drop Eos, but if you've had the legit one and then bought this, you might notice the slight color difference, you would definitely notice the smell difference, but by then it's too late to take it back to the store because you've opened it. It's just a huge mess. I don't understand why people feel the need to screw people over and make things like counterfeits, especially of products like this where people end up getting hurt as a result of it. But there are some differences, and I wanted to point them out, however subtle they may be, just so that the info's out there. I know there's other counterfeits out there, most notably the um, Cherry Queen of Fruits one, Eos's Flat out said they have never had a cherry flavor and probably never will because of that well-known counterfeit. So, good job guys for screwing that up for everybody. But yeah, that one is a blatant fake. But more commonly, you just find people trying to sell fakes of the normal flavors. And that's, it's really shitty in my opinion that people do that. But all you can do is educate yourself and be aware. And if something seems off, it very well might be. Like I said, you just have to be very aware of this stuff going on.